Let's check out another very beautiful chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz. And in this chess game, Steinitz has the white pieces, and his opponent is a player named B Bird. And his first name is unknown, that's why his name is B Bird, not a famous player. So let's quickly check out how this game went on. Steinitz starts the game with playing e4, e5, bishop to c4. This is the bishop's opening, knight to f6, f4, immediately attacking, a very aggressive move, sacrificing the pawn, black didn't capture the pawn, and black played d6, actually capturing the pawn was the better move, even capturing the pawn with the knight was okay for black, but for the quick development, Chitainitz goes for the pawn sacrifice, the sacrifice was not accepted, d3, Knight to c6, knight to f3, bishop to g4, c3, not allowing knight to d4, knight to a5, attacking the bishop. Where is the bishop going? Shetainis played f takes on e5, attacking the knight. Bishop takes on f3, queen takes bishop, and knight takes bishop on c4. Which knight to capture? Well, Steinitz captured the knight on f6 with the pawn and attacking on g7, also attacking the knight. Black defended his knight, knight to e5 and attacking the queen. So there is no time for capturing the pawn. Queen to g3, defending the queen and queen takes pawn. d4, attacking the knight, knight to g6, bishop to g5, defending the queen. And finally, Wilhelm Steinitz castled f6. Well, of course, capturing the pawn is not a good move because rook to e1 and winning the queen and the game. Well, that was a very basic problem in chess. Of course, after castling, we have f6, not capturing the pawn. Bishop to f4, bishop to e7, and black is showing his intentions. He wants to castle in the king's side, not in the queen's side. Knight to d2, knight takes bishop, rook takes on f4, finally, also black castled, and in this position, it is for about equal. Steinitz played d5, queen to d7, knight to f3, and Steinitz has the space advantage. Slowly he is getting the edge in the chess game. c5, knight to h4, king to h8. Well, after knight to h4, g5 is not a good move. This is not forking the rook and the knight, because the pawn is pinned. And after knight to f5, white is better. So Steinitz is slowly placing his knight on the king's side. Knight to h4, king to h8, rook to g4, attacking the g-pawn, how to defend. Even in this position, white has the small edge, but white is better. White is slightly better. But black played a very bad move, and after that move, white is winning. Black played g6. Actually, rook to f7 was the best defense, defending with the rook. And black is okay, but still white is slightly better. But after g6, black is losing, and this was a blunder, and Stein is solved the winning line. How to win? There is forcing win in this position. Wilhelm Steinitz played, knight takes on g6, sacrificing the knight, what a move, forking the rook and the king, black captured the knight, and what is the follow up, not every move is good for white, for example if capturing the pawn with the rook, black is surviving, so Steinitz played, queen to h3, this is check, and black king needs to go to the g file, king to g7, or king to g8, Black played king to g7, that's one of the only move, and what now? Can you see the threat? Can you see why Steinitz sacrificed his knight? Well, Steinitz sacrificed his knight, because he was also going to sacrifice his rook. Rook takes on g6, 
by Wilhelm Schitteinitz. Another bone crushing move. That's check. Also attacking the queen. Now you see his idea. Black captured the rook and Schitteinitz captured the queen. Queen takes on d7. Also attacking the bishop. Defending. King to f7. e5. And threatening to capture the d-pawn. And the bishop is pinned. So black captures the pawn. F takes on e5. We'll have Steinitz play the move. And black resigned. Steinitz played. Rook to f1. And Bert resigned. This is the last position. The possible continuation is very obvious. After moving the king, simply queen takes bishop. And white is winning. Basically in this position, white has the queen. And black has the rook. It is over for black. Also the king is exposed. We should not also forget about that. And black probably is going to get checkmated. Another very beautiful chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz. So rook to f1 is the last move of this marvelous chess game. A simple and a beautiful chess game by the first official world chess champion. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.